I just decided to come back. Any problem? Mom, I just can't wait to see Jennifer. You know, since morning I've been in the office, I wasn't myself. I understand how you feel. In, in two days' time, Jennifer will be back. And besides, in two months' time, you and Jennifer will become husband and wife. Yeah? Don't be in a hurry, okay? Don't be in a hurry. Excuse me. I didn't even know you are seated here. So how are you now? Hmm. Today has been wonderful. I experienced no stress at all. That's good, that's good. Ah, I'm glad hearing this from you. Ah! Darling. Huh? Did you notice that uh, your health has uh, improved greatly since the doctor asked you to take a rest for your mom? Of course, of course, of course. It has been tremendous. In fact, uh, uh, I must tell you that I feel a lot better. Yes, it's tremendous. God is very faithful. Yes, indeed he is. Excuse me, dear. I noticed that you made Anthony the deputy director of your company. Yes, yes, I made him the deputy director. And he's functioning well. He's doing very well. But why? Why do you have a daughter? Is Anthony your son? See, my wife, see, you need to understand African tradition. You understand me? Anthony is my brother's son. And also be his father. He is not your son. And by the way, do you remember that uh, our daughter? Mm. She travels a lot. So at least for now, he's standing in for her. He cannot stand in for her. This is an inheritance. It's hers. See, I, if I, you had told me, I would have asked her to postpone her journey. Yes, but, but do you know that this same person you are talking about, our daughter, is the secretary of this company? So? And you are the director, he's the deputy director? Yes. If you are not there, what happens? You need to understand something. I remain the managing director of the company. Whatever I say, stands. What if you are not there? Doesn't matter. Whatever I say, uh, no, no, stands. No, 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 no. I can't take this. I can't take it. Your grandfather had a great hatred on you. What the, how do you mean? If not that he hates you, he would have given the whole company to your uncle, Mr. Patrick Wickerson. Mother, I disagree with you. Mr. Patrick Wickerson is my father's elder brother. And as our custom demands, first son, he heard his father's words, just as other customs may be different. I'm happy. Such but also remember, are you hearing me? You should also remember that your uncle does not have a male child. You are the only surviving male child after your uncle. Is your uncle not supposed to share his company equally with you? Are you not supposed to take over after your uncle? Think. you that it is your duty to ensure that Jack and Jennifer do not get married. You enemy of progress. What is your business if they get married or not? <laughs> I can see how foolish and stupid you are. How could 
would you call that any a, a progress? Remember, it is your late husband's family. I thought you have your own family. Therefore, allow me to have a domestic battle and win it. Winning, you say? Yeah. Yes. What if you lose it? Hey, fool, tell me, what if you lose it? And it is none of your business. Ah. Please, can you leave my house first and my dogs on you? No problem. We shall see. Leave! Leave! Honey, mm? I saw this document in your room. Don't tell me the content is true. This document? Yes. <laughs> Everything in this document is real. Do you realize that Anthony is your nephew, not your son? Is it because I don't have a male child? There you go again. I don't know. I don't know with women. I don't know with women. Ah. What? What to do? Okay, you don't know me this case by making time. How I got this so best number is not important. I am here to give you seven days to want to convince your late husband's brother and his wife that Jennifer, their daughter, must not marry Jack. And what if I don't? First, the bills will be still and the cars will be let out of the bar. How dare you come inside my compound to threaten me? And so, whatever thing you call yourself, leave this place right now! I will leave. But don't say back on me again! I will leave. But I may not want you again. you? I'm fine, thank you. How may I help you, ma? My dear, actually, I am here to give you a very vital information. <laughs> but I don't know you. Mm, uh, the point there is that you must not marry Jack. Run far away from him. <laughs> <laughs> Sound funny. Please, who are you? A prophet as all. Please excuse me. My identity is not important at this hour. Please, my daughter. Have to give to my advice. Okay? Please leave here! Have to heed to my advice, my daughter. I said leave! Okay. Bye bye. Who could this woman be? Honey, I've not even set my eyes on this woman before. I don't even know who she is. I think this is a conspiracy from our enemies. Sweetheart. Yes, I don't think I will ever live on this earth without you. Please, my heart. Don't listen to all those cock and bull stories. My love. You know my utmost desire is to be with you. I want to be in your arms if death do us part. Love it. My queen. You are my fantasy. You are my love. And on you, I shall build my future. You're my head. You're my everything. And I will love you till death. And only death to this world. Love you, baby. Should we go to the movies? Oh. 
What do you want us? Let's go to the movies. Alright. So which one are we seeing? Tyler Perry? Oh. Which one do you prefer? <laughs> Tyler Perry? Or... I prefer Tyler Perry. Ah, alright. Your wish is my command. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Big Daddy, who is the father to Anthony? My daughter. It's your question, eh? Ah, an intelligent one, but you will not understand now. It has to do with tradition. What, Big Daddy? What concerns tradition in this matter? Okay, I now get it. That's why you're not happy. Uh, don't worry. I can explain that to you later on in the evening, okay? Daddy, I'm so now happy. That's okay. Uh, drink some. Uh, just take some drink. You started it. Finish it, eh? Go ahead, go ahead. Take. Take and drink, eh? Yeah, that's my daughter. <sighs> I must make sure to get my own share from the way Gus's property. <laughs> I can see how you are trying to play a dirty game, but be careful. If eventually I lose out, uh, both Jack and Antonio will be sent to the grave without mercy. <laughs> so you have gone too far. Okay. Make haste while the sun shines. I'm a woman, and I'll use what I've got to get what I want. I really want to, to know if Anthony's father transgressed on high the past. My dear, from the present to the past, no member of this family has done anything wrong to her. Hey, why is she against Anthony, my girls? Because she's being jealous of me for having a male child, which she's unable to have. Why do you think so? Besides, both of you are not married to one husband. So, why would she be jealous of Antony, my fears? Can't you see? If not for me, Linda, the lineage of Wickerson would have ended. I have a male child, which she's unable to have. Just the reason. See the ant writing on the wall. Can't you see it? Mom. Yeah, my I don't understand this whole thing anymore. What is that? What has my brother Anthony done to you? He narrated his ordeal to me the other day about how you treated him. Do you know they heard you and dad arguing over Anthony? Now, I want to know the truth and nothing but the truth. Has that boy committed any crime? <laughs> Anthony never committed any crime, my baby. That is more than, committed more than a crime. Mom, what committed? So many years ago. Agam. Madam. Yes, I came to let you know that the child given to you is not yours. How do you mean? You delivered a male child. It's not true. That can't be true. That's how it seems. But it's very true. It's not I am true. Certain. No, 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 no. I and the midwife helped you during delivery. Mm -hmm. And I think Mrs. Linda Wickerson, your husband brother's wife, is up to something she with the midwife. That's not a problem. I'll take it up with her. Thank you. Okay, just want to let you know. You're welcome. Yeah. I want you to know that Jennifer wants to kill you. Jen, will you shut up your mouth? I mean, what do you know about Jennifer? I know much of her. 
You're planning to get married to her, right? I saw what? Mind you, a fly who does not listen always follow the dead body to the grave. I don't care. She will care so. No. Now, Mom, are you practically saying I'm not your biological daughter? Far from it, my daughter. Hmm, daughter. Now, what's this whole story pointing at? A week later, I was discharged from the hospital, and immediately I got home, my father gave me an egg that was from his shrine, which was from his shrine, and I. This egg is from my father's shrine. If the child given to me from the hospital is mine, let her live. If she's not mine, let her die. Because I have confidence in my father's shrine. Now what happened, Mom? I lost this child barely three months later. And I knew something when it went wrong. Now, does my father know about this? Not really. you want? And how did you get here? How did you get here? Please, madam. I've been searching for you since five years now. Now listen. I want you to live here now and never in your life return here. Have I made myself clear? Madam, you are a woman like me. I lost my husband and children since five years ago. That is why you have not seen me. I've been looking for you all over. Please, madam. There's agreement that you need. And now, I don't want that money. I want my child. Please. Madam, please. I said out. Please, I need, please, I need my child. That is all what I need. Help me. Help me. Madam, I said out. Help me. Help me. Jack, I have actually been searching for you everywhere. Uh, I went down this morning to get something downstairs. Okay. There's one important thing I want to discuss with you. Uh, I just want to suggest that you call that marriage between you and Jennifer a break for now. What, mother? I hope you understand how much I love Jennifer. And you also understand how much Jennifer loves me. I hope you understand that. <laughs> love indeed. Love? How do you know about love? I know Jennifer loves me. Jennifer loves me. See, let me advise you. All I have to tell you from now is that you should go down. Go down for now and investigate. Why? A stranger should be against your marriage. Mother, I am sure, I am very, very sure that our enemies must have paid that woman to carry out those actions. Remember very well that she has not told Jennifer any genuine reason why she was being all those things. I hope you remember that. What do you what do you know? What do you mean? All I want you to do now is to calm down and investigate. Find out why some people should be against your marriage with Jennifer. And that's what I want from you. I'll be careful, but that wouldn't stop my plan towards marrying Jennifer. I hope that my mother is not suspecting Anthony's mother wrongly. Both Mrs. Wickerson, Linda and my mother are not married to the same husband. So why should Anthony's mother exchange my 
mother's child. And I also heard that the child is older than Anthony. So to whom did the midwife exchange this child to? Something is wrong somewhere. Anthony was born a month after this child died. It is therefore meaning that Mrs. Linda maybe accused wrongly. Yes, this is a wrong accusation. Um, you are all welcome. You know, um, I am particularly happy that you are all in this meeting. More so that, uh, yes, more so that uh, we have in our present son. That's the person of uh, Uncle Isaac. Uncle Isaac, you are welcome. Yeah, thank you very much, all of you. Thank you for having me here today. Um, I have called for this meeting. Because um, I have observed over some time now that um, I'm no longer physically strong yes, to run the affairs of the two companies. Um, you will recall that uh, the first company was uh, formed by our father, my father. And um, over the years, we've been able to make the company to become two. Um, as it is right now, I have taken a decision that um, the two companies will be split amongst my two children. Perfect. Yes. One of it will go to Jennifer here, oh, my daughter, yeah. and the other one will go to um, uh, Anthony. Anthony. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, having said that, if any of you have anything that ordinarily you want to contribute to over the decisions that I have made, you are free to you are free to say something. Otherwise, if you don't have anything to say, then we take it that the decision is. Yes, please. Can I express myself? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. You can express yourself. Right. As we all know, the company was created by my. And uh, as tradition demands, the third child of the family takes over the company. Not that my husband's father is late. Jennifer is the only child of Mr. Patrick. She becomes the heir of the company. You lie! I said you lie. Your husband was made the owner of this company because he's the first son and the only surviving child. Now that I have the son, Anthony, you automatically become the next head to the companies and not your daughter Jennifer. Shut up! You're not your daughter! You're not your daughter! You're not your don't do that. I'm you are a liar. 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 You
get the wealth. It's none of your business. I have fought a good fight of fate and I'm convinced that one day I'll be remembered. Who do you think will remember you after you have created a lot of problems? You can't eat your cake and have it back. You know, the game is not over yet. Rose. Uncle. Linda. Yes, Uncle. I want you people to make peace. In as much as things have gone this way, I need the both of you to be strong and settle the problems. We just lost my brother and we need to give him a befitting burial. You people should not bring your dirty linens outside. It's something you will settle amicably and give your husband a befitting burial. Okay? Uncle, come to ask you something. I'm listening. Go ahead. When are we going to meet? So that the company to be handed over to my son, Anthony Wickers. No, 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 no. You don't talk about sharing of companies now. We are talking about burying somebody that just died. And as a matter of fact, tradition demands that I need to go to the village and inform our family members that our brother is dead. Then we'll see how we plan for his burial. After his burial, then we begin to think of how to arrange the family, then move further. We're not talking about sharing properties now or companies. Okay? Don't put that in your mind at the moment. Congo, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Let's keep all the phone. As soon as I come back, I will come here. Okay. You people just be in peace. Thank you very much. The fight had begun the very day her husband assumed as the heir owner of the company. Why did their father, Wickerson, not allow my husband to divide the profits of the company into two equal parts? Well, her husband is late now. Therefore, my, us my son, Anthony, becomes the heir to the two existing companies. I must tolerate no nonsense from anybody, even if it demands the death of anyone. All what I want is for my child to have the confidence. This is a domestic battle. Hey, now listen, every good mother wants the best for a child. I want us to visit a very good prophet across the sea so that he can prepare you for you to win the two companies. You are right. Are you just okay? Like seriously? What do you mean? What do I mean? Yes. Mom, are you going to stay for revenge for the rest of your life? Say the way you are angry when I kill my father. You I can't say that. You can't say that. Please. Actually, causing this conflict between both of you. I think there's something wrong in this family. It is obvious. Mother Rose is a mad woman, but her mental problem got worse the day she lost her husband. Mother, please don't go there. Both of you actually killed my uncle, and none of you is ready to say the truth. Say the truth. It's not saying the truth. And it is none of your business. Anthony, you are the only man of the weaker sin. You have to grow up and be a man. It is your right. Sweetheart. I think we should postpone this wedding. Yes, 
Let us understand the situation of things first. Sweetheart. Yes, Anna. I hope you know how much I love you. And you know how I've been battling to make sure that I hold you close to my side. Making sure that you are always by my side. But here you are postponing the date of your wedding. You see, two weeks back. And then, in the next few days, the company's ownership will be announced. And then this whole thing has turned into a bloodbath in my house. So please, understand my point, honey. I understand you, but I hope you are not saying all those things because of the rubbish you heard from that unknown woman. No, 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 my love. Far from it. Mm. Yes. So, meaning we have to refix the gate. Yes. Towards it. To this time. Meaning six whole week from now. Alright. That's my baby. Thank you. So, so, where do we go from here? I want to take you to one of the Italy salon. Thank you. Let's yeah. go. Get your house, Mr. B. My mother threw you out. My mother did what? My mother threw you out of the house. Yes. Why would she do anything like that? I told you. Talk like a brother and a sister. My mother and your mother. Married to this we can still family. And you are the daughter. So, what are your stand? My brother. Don't bother about that. I have a secret. I'll show you. Let's go inside. How she will escape this time. Jeez. I've given enough time to do what I requested. <laughs> I can see how stubborn you are since you refuse to carry out a simple task. I will do it myself. But remember, I will make sure that it causes you all your happiness which you have built over the years. Wash out and see. Tell me it is true. What? That you and Jack have postponed the wedding. Yes, we did, Mom. It's for a reason, please. Are you out of your face? Are you not out of my senses? Don't you know you're a weak pregnant for him? So bloody nonsense, what? Please, you worry too much. Give me a break. Please, I don't want to leave you. Please. Yes, Ken. Can you imagine? This He's my mom. Right. My God. Oh, 
Don't worry about that now. How about allowance? You know I always do that for you. Yes, yeah, exactly. Uh-uh. That's not a problem. That's why I love you, you know. I love you so much, Adi. I love you too. So that you are looking great and you are out like this. I hope you are fine. Sure, because I have a super daddy. <laughs> so, how are you? The way I'm feeling right now, I just have this inner spirit telling me that I need to pray for you. Pray for me? Yes. Uh, something is telling me that uh, I need to pray for you. Ah, uh, that, that's my phone ringing. Anyway, don't worry. Let's not bother about that. I need to pray for you now. Okay. Yeah, let me pray for you. Thank yeah. you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, this moment, I declare and decree that any evil eye against this my daughter shall fall into the deep pit in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Shall fall into the deep pit in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You shall know no shame. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. No shame shall befall you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You shall be a bright shining star in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah. God, thank you. Thank you for answered prayers. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. We are afraid. Stand up, my daughter. Mr. Daddy, let me go and call Anthony, my brother, so you can bless him as well. Eh, well, if you want to go and call uh, Anthony, yeah, it's okay. Anthony! My daughter. Anthony! Daddy! Dad? Medical Center, Catalonia. And this is my friend, Mrs. Ruben. What do you want? Very well, madam. Thank you very much, madam. We are here to see you. We are here to give you a very vital bit of information that has been hidden over the years. What vital information? Madam, it concerns you, your son, and the entire family of Wokensi. The truth, the whole truth shall be out tomorrow. Yes. 
And what truth are you talking about? Madam, please tomorrow I will want you to come with your son, Mr. Patrick Wilkerson, to Mrs. Rose's house tomorrow at 12 p.m. Then the whole truth will be revealed. Anyway, however, I've heard you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So we'll be to dinner. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes, I'm good, sir. I'm good. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Exactly, sir. Oh, no, no, sir. It's... Yes, sir, at 12 p.m., sir. Yes, but, uncle, there's something I want you to understand. Ah, he cuts. Stands now. You see that the two companies should be given to your daughter? Yes, Uncle. She's the only child of Mr. Patrick. And Linda, so you want tradition to take its place? Yes, Uncle. That was exactly the reason why my, our husband's father handed over the company to me. Late Patrick we can see. So my son is only surviving in shadow of the Wikasi. Meaning the company should be handed over to him. Please. Um, excuse me, Uncle. Yeah, go on, go on. You see, I and my brother Anthony, we actually called us meeting because we want to actually iron out a lot of things. Therefore, I want Anthony. Okay, Anthony. My sister, you are right. I and my sister, we have decided to live as one in love and harmony. In harmony and love. So, I decided the company should be shared equal as one. One to my sister, then the other to me. That's what you want? Yes, that's what I want. Okay? I, Uncle Isaac, I hereby wish to share this company give it Jennifer one and the other one to Anthony. Not yet! Anthony is not a member of this family. Huh? Oh my god. Yes. How dare you? I will invite you to this meeting. Oh. No! Madam, and who are you? Thank you so much, sir. I am Mrs. Anthony Charles, the midwife. Uh, Mrs. Anthony. Yes, madam. I could never. What is your part? Oh, madam. My part here is to reveal the truth. Brother and sister. Please 
I am sorry about this. Oh my God. Anthony is my son. What? what? Oh, I got pregnant for Mrs. Linda when she was looking for a baby. After three months, barely three months, when she got married and she promised to pay me, who she did not pay. Now I need my son. Hey, Linda, 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 Linda. Did you hear her confession? Did you just hear her? I'm sorry. I'm sorry what you said is the truth. What I said is the truth. I never went back for the rose to have a main child. I went there to have a main child that would take over the company. We said that selfish. Okay, it's good. 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 It's good.